Welcome to iLecture Online. Here's our second example of distance, velocity, and time type of problems. We have Jim that goes out for a run at 12 kilometers per hour. Tom starts one and a half hours later and tries to catch Jim with his bicycle traveling at 30 kilometers per hour. And the question is, where does Tom catch Jim? All right, how do we do that problem? We start with the equation distance equals velocity times time. And in this case, we have to realize that both Tom and Jim travel the exact same distance. So the strategy we're going to use is that distance traveled by Jim must equal to the distance traveled by Tom. We can write d sub 1 equals d sub 2 or d sub j equals d sub t if that makes it easier to follow. All right, so we're going to use that strategy and we're going to use that equation right there. So if distance traveled by Jim is equal to distance traveled by Tom and distance is defined as velocity times time, we can then say that this means that the velocity traveled by Jim times the time traveled by Jim must equal the velocity traveled by Tom times the time traveled by Tom. And that is how we're going to solve the problem. So let's go over here and implement that. The velocity traveled by Jim it's 12 kilometers per hour, so we write 12. And the time traveled by Jim, well, that would be, hmm, well, we don't know how long it will take for Jim to catch Tom, or for Tom to catch Jim. So what we're going to do is we're going to let x equal the time traveled by Tom. If that's true, then x plus 1.5 equals the time traveled by Jim. Because Jim left one and a half hours before Tom left. So distance equals velocity times time. Time of Jim would be x plus 1.5. And that equals the velocity traveled by Tom, which is 30 kilometers per hour, multiplied times well, it would be simply x because x is the time traveled by time. Now we need to solve that equation for x. So we multiply this through, we get 12x plus 18 equals 30x. We move all the number, all the x's to one side, all the numbers to the other side. 12x minus 30x because we cross the equal sign equals minus 18 because we cross the equal sign this way. And so we get minus 18x equals minus 18. Divide both sides by negative 18. And we get x is equal to 1. Now we go back over here. And x is the time traveled by Tom. So that would be 1 hour. And we get x plus 1 and a half is the time traveled by Jim, which is 2.5 hours. So now we know how long it took for them to travel. And where did where did Tom catch Jim? Well, then we go back to the equation distance equals a lot of times time. In this case, we're going to say that the distance traveled by Tom is equal to the velocity traveled by Tom times the time traveled by Tom. The velocity is 30 kilometers per hour. And the time traveled by Tom right here is one hour times one hour. And therefore, the distance traveled is 30 kilometers. So 30 kilometers away from the starting point, that's where Tom finally catches Jim. And notice that Jim was therefore traveling for one hour plus one and a half or two and a half hours. Two and a half hours travel 12 kilometers an hour gives you the same distance, 30 kilometers. So it looks like we did the problem correctly. And that's how it's done.